Hi there, my name is Laura. I am the founder and lead consultant at GoodOps, an operations consultancy offering system setups, workflow improvements, as well as um, AI and automation integration services. And what I wanted to show you today is how I use SmartSuite to actually run that consulting business. So let's dive right in. So this is a simplified representation of my SmartSuite setup. So at the core, we have a number of smart suite solutions and this is really where all of our data lives and then internally we mainly look at this through our hq dashboard as well as the my work feature that smart suite has by default however our clients uh, don't ever log into smart suite so they um, interact with a client portal um, that is built with software and that is drawing on the data that lives inside SmartSuite. Now, what I want to show you today is mainly the dashboard, how um, I'm setting up projects, um, how I'm using a bit of a workaround to set up templates, um, as well as what that client portal looks like. So to start, um, I'm going to just dive right into our, um, our internal um, dashboard and show you parts of that. So the dashboard lives in a smart suite solution called GoodOps HQ. Now this solution basically just houses the dashboard. It doesn't really contain any data, but I just thought it's cleaner to have that separate um, as its own thing. Um, the kind of starting point is this GoodOps HQ page. And essentially um, what I've got here is almost like a map of what else there is um, within the smart suite system. So we've got a bit of an explanation um, of what um, is where. So these are just the tabs of the dashboard it, um, itself. And then below um, there's actual links to the um, tables inside the other smart suite solutions. As a new business, uh, there's not that many SOPs yet. This is very much a work in progress, but I did start setting up like a, an easy way to actually um, read through the SOPs as they get created. So you can kind of flick through what we've got um, and then actually just uh, have a look at the SOP down here. The nice thing with SmartSuite is that we can have these smart doc fields so you can add images and everything and embed them um, easily here so we don't need to like link to uh, like a Google Doc or anything everything is right here where I need it. I've got a bit of a sales dashboard which is very very simple it's basically just the different companies deal sizes and then details about the actual companies below. Um, very aspirational and very empty. My content and marketing plan, which I really need to work on for 2025, at least the system is there, even though it's empty. And then lastly, I've got a bit of a team directory uh, type thing here with a link to my uh, database for automation specialists. So that's kind of just the overview dashboard. Now, the other thing that I like to look at every day is my own my work dashboard now created a bit of a demo version here just actually hiding real client work so this is domi data now the my work feature of smart smart suite is very nice um if you want to just at a glance see what do i need to do today i like to sometimes just have a little bit more a few more options with how i filter and how i look at things and so i've created this my work dashboard the first tab here i've got um, all of my projects essentially i can look at all of the different deliverables for the different projects that are going on right now with various statuses and the rest here is basically just tasks based on their status and based on whether or not i'm ready to work on them and then they are just filtered for whoever is currently logged in so if i'm logged in i just see my tasks if someone else is logged in they would see their tasks so ready to be worked on, pretty self-explanatory. I then have a separate one with just overdue tasks. I think that's nice to filter out because tasks shouldn't be overdue. Another one which I am very much putting here for myself is missing time logs. So whenever a task is complete, but it uh, doesn't have a time log, it shows up here so that I can at least afterwards manually add in that time. Again, as a new business, 
a lot of things I'm still figuring out. And something that's really important to me is understanding how long things actually take versus how long I think they take. And so the um, time tracking feature that SmartSuite has is very, very useful for me. But you do need to remember to use it. Um, I've got a whole section about tasks that are... <clears throat> waiting on a dependency and then I've got another one which just completed this week. So that's the dashboard. This is where I spent most of my time except if I want to set up a new project. So let me just show you that as well. So I am once again in my demo space. And the way that I would go about setting up a new project is I would basically come up with a better name than new project. Set the different fields, priorities, etc., the status, fill all that in, choose the client, the department would be mostly delivery unless it's like an internal thing. And then what I have set up is a little automation where I can choose, first of all, a package template. So in the other solution that's called the template center, I have a number of different packages, deliverables and tasks that I've templatized that are linked to this field. So let's say I want to create a um, operations audit. I would click that here. I would then switch here, say apply package template. Now, this takes a moment to do because it does go to a third party automation connector. But once the automation has run, it then adds the deliverable templates. So I can then open this up and I can see, okay, this is what it suggests I add. I might want to just remove a few things if I don't like them. And I can also just go in and add in random other deliverables from other uh, projects because I do a lot of bespoke work. So once that is done, I can then create the actual project deliverables and the actual tasks. Again, that's why I have the switch. So to give me the moment to actually like review it and I switch that on and then it goes in to the deliverables and the tasks and it actually goes and creates all of that for me. And I just adjust due dates, etc. The other thing that I want to show you um, is the client portal. Now, one of the main reasons why I decided to go with SmartSuite over some other more like project management type system is because a obviously it's, it's a great database as you've seen i use it for all the internal processes but it's also great because it connects to um third party um tools um of course automation tools but also no code app builders like softer which is what i wanted to use for my client portal now let me just go into the actual softer portal and show you what that looks like and then just keep in mind all of the data comes from smart suite so this is what it looks like when you as a client log in to the portal. Now, of course, you would have your actual name here and not demo. And then I've got different pages for my clients. So you've got a page here with all of the tasks. So this is super useful when I actually need something from a client. So obviously with the type of work that I do very often, I need um, information or access. So for all of those things, I actually just create a task for them here. It's super useful to just have everything in one place um, and then and they can mark them as complete. If they don't want to do that, I mark them as complete next time I speak to them just to keep things tidy. And they can also see what we are working on. And then we also see um, all of the completed work. Now, this is also really nice just to kind of justify your reason for existing um, to just see all of the work that you've done, that they've done. And so I think it's just a really nice little log here. And I will say that this has been very helpful and it's actually been very helpful during the sales process as well. I've had clients tell me explicitly that having this portal was one of the reasons that they chose to go with me over a different consultancy, just because they've had issues with communication before with consultants and not knowing what's even going on. So this has definitely been super useful and I've gotten really positive feedback um, from clients um, about the portal. Now, enough praise for the portal. Let me just show you the rest of it. So there's a sessions page where you see your upcoming sessions and then you would see your completed sessions here. Clients always get a session report after a session. So that is also here where there's a bit of a summary, any material, any tasks that are linked to that, as well as the, the actual summary lives here. There's a page with resources for them. There is the vault, which contains their invoices and contracts. And then there's also a link to a form where you can request a new project. 
Now, as I said, while this is what the clients see, all of this data lives in Smart Suite inside this client portal database. So they've got the portal, we've got the dashboard and obviously a number of different views set up here. And yeah, Smart Suite is very much at the core of the setup. So it's been super useful just having that database where all of that lives and then being able to work with a tool that actually A, has built in automation capabilities, but also connects to third party automation providers, as well as these no code app builders like Softer. So I hope that was helpful and you feel inspired to actually go and give Smart Suite a try for yourself. And if at any any point you get stuck or you feel like you need that little bit of extra help feel free to reach out to me directly um, there should be a link to our website down below